As the water moves downstream, Parkville and Riverside gear up to fight the floods. Sloan Heller continues our floods of 2011 coverage from along the Missouri River in Parkville. Good morning, Krista. Just got off the phone with Parkville Police. Uh, three things to update you on. First of all, English Landing Park, which is just across the way here, uh, now officially closed. The low-lying bridge is covered in water, so that's number one. Uh, two, no plans to evacuate still, so that's good news. And three, sandbagging set to start today at 2 o'clock. Now, if you want to volunteer, uh, you have to be 16 years old. They're recommending to wear solid shoes as well as gloves. You need to bring an ID to meet at the farmer's market here in Parkville. Now, aside from sandbagging, the city is also planning to use a portable dam. Sandbags are typically a temporary solution. These porta dams are a long, still temporary, but nonetheless a longer-term solution. If now, talking about Riverside, uh, they've got a levy that they're relying on, so no plans to sandbag in Riverside as of yet. As far as Kansas City is concerned, uh, we are still looking at flooding to hit somewhere around June 17th is the latest that I've heard. And according to the Kansas City Star, the flooding in Kansas City is expected to be mild to moderate. We're live in Parkville this morning. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News Today.